Khalil Rountree thinks he proved himself as a top light heavyweight in his loss to Alex Pereira at UFC 307, and now he wants to show he can be champion. Rountree put up a valiant effort earlier this month when he challenges Pereira, 12-2 MMA, 9-1 UFC, for the belt in a fight of the year candidate that resulted in a fourth-round TKO defeat. Roundtree's title shot was unexpected given his number 8 ranked prior to the fight, but he surpassed the expectation of many before falling short. Although he didn't get his hand raised, the respect and admiration that's poured in for Roundtree from throughout the MMA community has been impossible to miss. He said it's meant a lot to him, especially when coming from the UFC's top power players. I've spoken personally with Dana White and Hunter, Campbell, and I feel like I got the steak dinner already because they were entertained, Rountree told MMA Junkie Radio. I think for me as a partner with the UFC it's one of my biggest goals to make sure the guys at the top are pleased with what they see. After speaking with them and them being excited about the performance, they're definitely pleased. That felt like a treat in itself. As far as what's next on the fight end, I think there would be a little bit more room for me to say what I want. But that vision right now is not so clear. Roundtree revealed he signed a new multi-fight UFC contract before stepping into the octagon with Pereira, and he intends to honor the whole deal. At 34, it seems this will be Roundtree's final big push in his career. He doesn't want to take any backward steps, and that means facing a prominent name next. For Roundtree, he is not picky outside of the numbers. He said he will need some time to recover from his various injuries and the nose surgery he underwent after the fight, but once he's cleared for competition, the goal is to get the highest-ranked opponent possible so he can start to build another case for a crack at gold. One name that has been frequently mentioned for Roundtree is a rebooking with former champion Jamal Hill, who he was supposed to face at UFC 303 in July before the matchup was scratched.